Uh, the first item I have for you is the approval of your 2024 legislative priorities. And again, want to um, thank staff and the board for your tireless work on this, as we've had many iterations going forward to be able to really incorporate uh, the board's feedback and sort of look at last year's legislative session where we were successful and shape this year's agenda. So a revised version of those legislative priorities that includes feedback collected from the last um, meeting is here and um, put up for your consideration for approval. Are there any questions? Board members, do you have any questions? Mrs. Shea. Uh, just a comment. Um, I, I, I want to just um, draw my colleagues' attention to the written comment that we received today prior to the meeting. Uh, was uh, from some constituents in my district in strong support of the safe and schools and student wellness piece of the uh, legislative agenda. Thank you so much, Mrs. Shea. Any other colleagues, any other comments before we vote on our 2024 legislative agenda? I do have a quick question, Madam okay. Chair, if it's okay. Um, Ken, if you don't mind, um, is when you get this in its final format. What will it, will it be a one pager kind of thing you hand out or the, the truffle brochure we had before, or what's the formatting gonna uh, be? Last year we went to a one pager from the trifold. Right. Um, and this is uh, last year's copy. It's uh, front and back. Um, and uh, so it, it's, it's posted currently, that last year's is currently posted on our website. We'll get it updated once this is approved. Um, we're poised and ready to get that to, um, in design and production and we'll have that. And also we uh, translate it into Spanish and have it in Spanish as well. Right. And we'll have a number of those uh, available for each of the board members um, for, for your use to leave behind uh, with the constituents. Uh, and the only reason why I asked was because it, it goes over to a second page, <laughs> which I figured it wasn't going to, but I wanted just, just wondered if it was gonna be like last year's, which I, I thought looked so good. And, but I do wanna compliment you guys on the way this is so succinct and it's clear language, it's, um, I like the bullet format, I just like the formatting of it because it's clear to understand uh, for anyone who takes just even a cursory glance mm -hmm. at it. And, and I think um, being a little bit less wordy than it has been in the past, I think it looks really good. It it's, um, sort of encapsulates everything that we've talked about. The only other question, was um, it starts off with the school board is committed to achievement of public education. I'm wondering, do we want, um, in, in the past, I know that we've had the brochure and all that, sorry, I haven't met, but um, do we want to um, only present this as the board is committed? I mean, DLT, the superintendent, we're all committed to these things. And I'm just wondering if we want to say that Henrico County School, um, public schools and leadership or something like that. I'm just curious about that. We certainly could. I think we want to make sure that for this particular document, while certainly we second uh, and support the topics that are listed here, I mean, as a school system, as an administration, as a leadership team, and have provided input here, um, want to be really clear going into the legislative advocacy work. You know, given this is an elected board, we're talking about legislative advocacy, that this is, this represents the board's um, legislative agenda. So that's why it's written here, not to say that we're not all supportive of, of the topics and the, right. the thoughts here. I just don't want to have anybody have that impression that it's just the board. I mean, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I, I, I understand. It's like a, to me, almost, um, I don't want to use the word disrespectful, but to not include our yeah. superintendent, who was also an advocate for all of these, and our members of DLT and that are advocates mm. for these um, priorities, just feels like we're, even in that last sentence of that, um, you know, we could say the school board as well as 
our superintendent, mm -hmm. Dr. Cashwell. And I don't know, I mean, how anybody else feels about that, or we leave it as it is. I think as we format the final document and as we post it on our site and so on, we can provide clarity around this being specific to the legislative priorities and agenda for legislative advocacy in support of the broader work that we do um, and support as a school system. So your point is taken. Okay, thank you. Board members, any other questions or comments before we vote? Okay, may I have a motion to approve the 2024 legislative priorities? I move that we approve the 2024 legislative priorities as presented. Second. Thank you, Mrs. Shea, and thank you for the second. Uh, Ms. Ogburn, all in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? The ayes have it, the 2024 legislative priorities have been approved. All right, thank you, and we'll um, be sure as that document comes together in final polish and final form um, with appropriate language, we will uh, get that to you for use as that legislative season kicks off very soon.